The question was, I said that human beings can willingly choose to go to hellfire by disobeying God and doing these things. But doesn't Allah, the Creator, already know who will and will not go to heaven or hell? And hasn't that already been ordained? Therefore, how is it that we're making that choice when that choice has already been made for us? It's a very good question. And it's an issue that within the religion of Islam, many deviated groups have broken off the mainstream Islam based upon this issue of predestination. We as human beings don't really concept or comprehend some things about God because of our limitation of our minds and our faculties. We look at the world through the prism of our eyes. This is how we see the world through the faculty of our senses, our eyes, our ears, we need them, correct? We don't look at God like this. We look at Allah is that He sees without the need of eyes. He's not in need of anything. He looks at everything in a way that we can't comprehend. He sees the past, the present, and the future all very easily. For us, we have to see the world through the prism of time. Can you watch a movie and see the beginning and the end at the same time? Has anyone had the capacity to watch a movie and see the beginning and the end at the same time? Can you do it? No, you have to watch it from beginning to end as it progresses. God does not see the world like this. He doesn't see His creation like this. He sees all of it comprehensively. And He has the most intimate knowledge about things. The Creator knows everything that has happened. Everything that has ever happened at any place within existence. He knows it perfectly and knows everything about it since the thing of time was created, since time itself was incepted. He also knows everything that is presently happening everywhere, perfectly within His existence and creation. Everything. He knows it perfectly, intimately, even what you're thinking right now, even what you're feeling. He knows it. He knows everything that will happen at every time, every place, until there is no such thing called time anymore. That means forever and ever and ever, infinity. He knows all of it. And then also he knows something else, which makes his knowledge something we are unable to comprehend. He also knows what will not happen. But if it were to happen, he knows how it would happen. He knows what would not happen. Meaning if you were given three choices in life, to do A, B, or C, not only does Allah know which one you will choose, but He also knows which ones you will not choose. But if you chose them, how everything would be different. That's what's called ultimate knowledge that we as human beings can't comprehend. Therefore, yes, Allah has already written in His book whether I will go to heaven or hell. He wrote that in His book before anything existed. That I will be a Muslim and I will go to heaven or hell. That's it. But He did not make that choice for me. He already knew what I was going to do. He knew every choice that I would be given in life and how I would make that choice and how that choice would determine my life and how I ended it. That's ultimate knowledge. If everything is destined by Allah and if I commit any sin, then who is to blame? If I am destined to commit a murder and then I commit a murder, but naturally I will not be responsible for it. It is Allah who has destined it. Therefore, He will be responsible. Then, why should I be punished for this? As far as the question of this Qadr is concerned, it's a common question asked by Muslims as well as non-Muslims about the Qadr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And it's difficult to understand. I'd like to give an example for people to know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has Il Magab has knowledge of the unseen. He has knowledge of the future. I'll only give you an example that if in a classroom there is a teacher who teaches the students, after one year has passed, before the examination, the teacher predicts that this child, he will come first class first. This child, he'll get a second class. This child, see, he will fail. And once the examination takes place, and when the results are out, student A gets the first class first, student B, he gets the second class, student C, he fails. Now the question I would like to ask is that just because the teacher predicted that the student 
C would fail, can the student C blame the teacher saying that because the teacher predicted that I will fail, I have failed. But natural answer is no. The teacher predicted that student C would fail. But student C cannot blame the teacher because the teacher predicted I will fail, therefore I failed. The student himself is responsible. Similarly, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has ilm gayb. For example, when a human being comes at a crossroad, there are five roads from which he can choose. Road 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. He has the free will, he can choose any. He chooses road 3. And that's already mentioned in the destiny that he will choose road 3. It is not because Allah has mentioned he will choose road 3 that he has chosen road 3. It is because he will be choosing road 3, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala writes in advance. Because he has ilm gab. Like how the teacher predicts in advance. So Allah knows this person has a choice. He can choose any of the roads from the five roads available. But he chooses road 3. So Allah knows in advance he will be choosing road 3. Therefore he mentions in the qadr, in the taqdeer, that he will be choosing road 3. Now once he goes to road 3, after some time, he comes on another crossroad. 1, 2, 3. He chooses road 3. Now because he will be choosing road 3, Allah knows in advance he has in the gap. So he's mentioned that after some time, he'll come at another crossroad and this particular person will choose again road 3. It is not because Allah has mentioned in taqdeer that he will choose road 3, that he's choosing road 3. It is because he has chosen road 3, Allah has written in advance. It's a bit confusing, but you realize that Allah is ilm gab. Same way, a person, if he wants to earn his livelihood, he has both choices. Either he can strive hard, work hard, and do on his job and earn that money, or he can rob, or he can steal. The choice is this. This person prefers to steal. Now, Allah knows in advance that at the age of 25, he has option of working hard and earning honest living or stealing. But this person steals. So Allah knows in advance he will be stealing. Therefore, Allah has written the taqdeer he will steal. It is not because Allah has written that he has stolen. It is because he will be stealing Allah has written in advance. So similarly, if a person commits murder, it's his choice. He can either not commit murder or he can commit murder. Choice is his. And he commits murder. Who's to blame? He's to blame.